on today's random spot, we're going to be having a look at Iron Brew, the Iron Brew Bar Soda. I know, I'm confused too. The original and best, apparently a phenomenal value at 49p. We're gonna be looking at the, again, Iron Brew. I'm gonna assume it's the Iron Brew. I-R-N-B-R-U, seems to me it's Iron Brew. Again though, they wanna point out to you, which is always fascinating, that it's a phenomenal value at 49p. In fact, so much so that they've put <laughs> they put phenomenal value all over the top of the can. Now I kept the sticker on. I didn't pay 49p. In fact, I paid a dollar 49. A dollar 49 for a can of soda spot. That's that's quite expensive. As you can see, there's some athletes on the side. Perhaps it's intended for athletes. And let's scroll in here. Perhaps Another piece to the puzzle here. Iron Brew and Bar are registered trademarks owned by the AG Bar PLC in Free Post RRGU, uh, Glasgow. Glasgow, U uh, UK. Sparkling flavored soft drink. Brewed in Scotland to a secret recipe for over a hundred years. Serve cool. <laughs> Not serve cold, serve cool. You're a nerd, you can't drink this. You have to serve it to somebody cool. Of adults, what do we got here? Calories, 141 calories. Sugar, 34, 38% sugar. Fat, okay, saturates, okay, that's not bad. Salt, confused by this. Are we, let's see, uh, okay, the crocodile is, Greater than greater than one percent is that what we're looking at? Who knows? Apparently, there's some athlete throwing a can into the garbage can, and apparently, this athlete has shovels for hands. I find that remarkable. Yes, I have no idea either. What else we got going on here? Sunset Yellow and Poncho. <laughs> Clearly it's not Poncho. 4R may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. Um, should I generally be concerned by this drink? Who knows? Well, you know what? If it's good enough for people in Scotland, heck, it's good enough for this guy. Brewed. It's Iron Brew. Move it over. Going to get ourselves a glass. By the way, if anybody was asking, Spot, where did you get this from? I picked this up at my local Hasty's Market. It's a local convenience store. Having said that, I can take this sticker off now. You guys are up to date with the story here. I have no idea, again, though, what this is. It could taste like soda. Like, it could taste like a, a Coke. It could taste like, uh... It could taste like a can of crap. Let's uh, open this up, though. The Iron Brew. Let's see here. Pour ourselves some. Well, it's orange. That may be a good sign. As always, I spritz some all over my backdrop. Wouldn't be a review here unless I spritz something all over my backdrop. Oh, come on, Spot. Give it a smell. Smells like orange. That's, that's a good sign. Okay, let's give this a try. We're going to give this a try. The Iron Brew Bar. Uh... I keep wanting to say Iron Brew Bar, the Iron Brew Soda. Whew, let's give it a try. Oh. <coughs> it's not bad. I know you would think, by the way, I've, I just reacted. It's one of those things where you drink it and then you, your first reaction is, oh! Oh, oh, and then as you're, as you're tasting it again, let's give this another try. I, t 
took a little bit more. I recognized it a little. You know what it tastes like? It kind of tastes like a creamsicle. Not an orange soda, but an actual creamsicle with a little more of a richer taste to it. It's not bad. It's interesting. It is interesting. I don't say, I wouldn't say I hate it. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. Hmm. Yeah, not actually that bad. Today's random spot, we were finding something. What? Where did we find this? We found this at our convenience store. We were looking at the Iron Brew Soda. Phenomenal value at 49p. Maybe not necessarily a big value. I paid like $1.50 for it. But surprisingly, not a bad soda. Kind of tastes like cream soda. Thanks for watching, guys, as you always do. Stay tuned for more random spots to come, and I'll see you guys next time.